to another video my name is Erica if this is your first time visiting thank you so much for coming over and clicking on this video today's video is number one in a playlist that I will have linked down below in the description box so if you're interested in watching this entire process from start to finish make sure that you check out that playlist also at the end when this is completely finished I will do a shorter co more compact video from start to finish for those of you that just want to watch it in a quick version and not have to watch each video but I know I do have a lot of viewers that like to come along for the process and watch the behind the scenes and how it all came together in real time so I'm also going to be vlogging each of these videos as we go along as more progress is made but what we're going to be doing in our backyard I have alluded to it before I know we are not going to be expanding our deck and no we are not putting in a screened in porch back there which would be my dream I'm not saying it won't happen one day but we would have to hire someone to actually do the like lean to the top and connect it to the house that's something Mary doesn't feel qualified to do so we have to stay within a budget and within our abilities so for we've lived here in this house for 19 years it's 1100 square feet and has a small deck on the back and from the beginning when we moved in I felt like the deck was just too small and it's nice for just Mary and Jackson and I now but I have raised four kids in this house and we've had many parties back there many family get-togethers and we're still having them we have a granddaughter now and we just envision all the fun times we're going to have out in the backyard and that deck is just too small so after going over so many different options we decided on one option but we have been back and forth back and forth so we decided we could rip out the deck we could make a floating deck a bigger smaller or a bigger lower floating deck we considered that option very strongly and we priced it all out when we priced it all out it was actually a lot more than we had thought we were still going to go that route except marion said it's actually going to be more work than he originally thought and so we scratched that idea and went back to our actual original plan which was to rip out the deck and to put a patio out there so I thought about pavers I've thought about this has been going on for years that I have been dreaming of a patio in my backyard I've thought about pavers I've thought about the you can buy the mold and you put the quick creed in the mold and you make a, a molding and then you you move it around and it could literally take all summer to make enough molds to be the size patio that I want um, we've thought of the floating deck we've just thought of every option and we believe that this is the best option for us so if you saw the video where we made the added the little storage shed Mary did put a concrete foundation for it to sit on and that was kind of like a trial run to see if it would work and it worked perfectly he did a dry pour method which is not the popular method but it was something that he had in, in had researched and watched a lot of YouTube videos, talked to some people, and it actually worked perfectly. So we've uh, we decided to do 
a dry pour patio for our backyard. So we're currently ripping out the deck. I have to actually dig up all my beautiful flower beds out there, my plants. I'm gonna try to preserve them so they do not die. I'm gonna watch them, water them. I'm gonna be really on top of it until they're back in the ground because I will be replanting them and I wanna save them. So that's my project today is to dig up all the plants. Marion is already started. He is tearing out the deck. We are actually tearing out our deck. And I know a lot of people would be like, why are you taking on a deck? It's a good deck, why would you do that? But for us, it just doesn't work. It's too small. We don't spend time out there because it's too small. So if I have a big open patio, I'm gonna have room for everything that I want out there. I want comfortable seating. I want a big enough table. I wanna go out there in the evenings in the summer and have dinner and it's just too small and it's not fitting our needs. So this is what we decided to do. So I hope that you're excited to come along with this process. It's gonna be a process. It may take all summer, I don't know. The concrete is real funny because it has to be put in when you know the weather's good We ha and uh, they're already calling for rain all next week. So it may take all week to rip the deck out, I don't know. Also, I want Marion to save some of the parts of the deck. He's gonna be building some things with it and that will incorporate our old deck into our new space, which I always love doing that. So I have to get outside and start digging up my beautiful plants hoping that they survive i thought um if i needed to i could get like a kiddie pool from walmart and fill it with potting soil and maybe like plant them in that in the meantime if they're starting to die because i don't know i'm not a planter i'm not a gardener i do not have a green thumb so i'm gonna dig them up and i'm gonna hope for the best and i'm gonna watch them because they're my plant babies and i don't want to kill them i love those plants and they've just gotten so big. So you can hear Marion out here. I've done enough talking, but I want to give you a good introduction let you know exactly what we're gonna be doing. So this is not going to be a tutorial or a how-to. This is just gonna be how we did it, what we decided, and I'll show you start to finish and before and after and all that. But I gotta get out here, I'm kind of procrastinating. Railing's already down, wow, you're quick. What, look at how bad. This, this was a screw. Mm -hmm. And it's, like all of the threads are gone off yeah. the shaft. Like you can see where they start down there, but like but I can't even get the head. So it's like, it was in serious. Well, I don't know how long this deck's been up. I mean, I don't, either. I don't think it was put on the house originally. Well, I know it wasn't because this is an addition back here, but we've lived here 19 years and it's been here longer than that. <laughs> all right, so I think the monkey grass will be fine. Hopefully I can save my hostas. Some of the wildflowers are coming in already that I planted last year, but I don't know that those are gonna make it. All right, so the new patio is gonna be 23 by 13, 23, 24, something like that. Anyway, it's gonna come out like this. We're gonna have so much more room. Obviously, it's gonna be lower to the ground, so all this has to go. My plan is to replant all of these along the edge of it once it's finished. So I'm gonna do my best to not kill them, to keep them looking good, because they look so good right now. to get three of them out and two hostas and this is much harder than I thought like I put my whole body weight on the shovel and it doesn't even go down deep enough so I'm having to get Marion to do it but he's also 
tearing out the deck. So I literally put my whole body weight and jumped and I cannot get that out. quick lunch break keep having to move the chairs over because the Sun is shifting You're trying to salvage it for me. It was. If it works and I can get this next one off relatively easy. Oh, I don't think it's even worth it. Actually, that one's split in half. Yeah, that one's pretty rotten. That board's definitely not salvageable. Man, that's a lot easier. So I really wanted to salvage these deck boards because I wanted Marion to build me a table, like a picnic style table. I don't, I hadn't exactly decided, but I wanted him to build me a table with them. But he took took one out at that end, and it was just so exhausting. And to have to do that like 35 more times, there's just no way. So we'd seen it done like this before, where you just you can't salvage the wood, but you could, it comes off a whole lot easier. So if there's anything salvageable at the end. We'll still build something, but it's going to be a whole bunch of pieces like that, <laughs> I'm afraid.
right, all the planks are cut. Wow, that's crazy looking. <laughs> it's crazy. It's a shame I couldn't have dug all that out already. We are gonna have to dig them out at some point. But there's no going back now. Why don't you put any planks on? So done. <laughs> no. Safe to say it was a good thing that we're ripping this deck out because you can see the planks weren't even like on, sitting on, what are these called, joists? Yeah. See, they used a little block of wood to connect the two and Mary just literally broke one just with his hand, so. So this post is really sturdy, really strong, and so are these posts, they don't move at all. But the one up here, you could totally move it like a foot and look at the bottom of it. Totally rotted. That's kind of crazy. The steps are not connected down here at the bottom. So Marion is going to just try and see if he can cut them off at the base on the back. And then we'll have just like one piece that we can move over to the door, basically just to like let the dogs in and out temporarily because this, we're gonna actually, he is gonna actually rebuild the stairs. They're gonna be different. So um, temporarily we're gonna need a way to get out here, but the house is pretty messed up along there, so when everything is finished and ready, I'll be probably have to put a piece of board up along there to cover some of that up. Also just the siding is a little bit rotted in a few spots. And I'll power wash it all and then paint and it'll look a whole lot better. But for now, that is what it looks like with no deck. We're gonna still have to dig up this this stuff is so hard we already broke or i should yeah marion broke <laughs> uh the shovel that made it easier i don't know what it's called but it's got like a sort of like rounded edge so it's got two sort of edges that dig in but that broke so we've been trying to use this and that is just so difficult so Aaron's taking a much deserved break. He's got one more post to cut over there. Then I'm gonna get the water hose and water those really good and my plants in the front. This is crazy. <laughs> kind of gives us an idea of what it's gonna look like. The stairs are gonna actually be up against the wall, but it's gonna be, it's gonna have a landing and there are of course gonna be new steps. So yeah, that is crazy. Got a lot done today. Last post coming down. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at that. These b bumblebees are everywhere. What in the world? I think they're carpenter bees. I think they're like, ooh, wood. Oh. Um, that's the color the house used to be. Well, it was like tan when we painted it. I don't know if it was that or not, but that's going to have to be painted, obviously. And the stairs are just temporarily set up there like I said 
I feel like it makes the yard look bigger. So I am looking rough. <laughs> Haven't had a shower. Marion is in the shower now. It's a little after four and right as we finished, Marion tried to get some of those, the monkey grass out and so he used the shovel and at the post, where the posts were, they cemented them into the ground and he jumped on the shovel with, and it hit cement and he may have sprained his ankle. I don't know. He's tough and doesn't complain but it's hurting him bad. So, I mean, also his back, he, his, his back is done after this day. So, um, I just made him take some medicine. He's showering and as we're going to put ice on it and wrap it and elevate it and all those things, because I do not want him, oh, to have sprained his ankle. So who knows <laughs> when this project's going to get done. All right. So a few days later, it is, uh, that was Saturday when I last left you. It is now Tuesday afternoon, evening, and you can see we haven't done anything. Marion laid some of the old boards right here just because we had crazy storms come through and this was just so muddy. You can see it's so muddy, but there was water standing and yeah, it was looking awful. So he did that so that the dogs won't track mud in hopefully as much, but it's really loosened up the ground. We're hoping that all the rain will loosen it up so we can dig these out a lot easier. We did go buy a new shovel because the other one was not working, but Marion's ankle really has been hurting him. Not sure if he sprained it or not, but he has been icing it and taking pain medication. He's having to be really careful with it, so he definitely did hurt it. So we're just having to sort of like put a pause on everything. But hopefully in this video, we'll get out here and probably me and maybe Jackson will be able to dig the rest of these plants up. And the ones that I did dig up, because we've had so much rain, they're looking totally fine over there. So they're so far so good. And then um, the next step will be to level this ground. And um, to be really honest with you, I had talked about we going back and forth. We didn't know if we were going to do pavers. We didn't know if we were going to do cement. We didn't know if we were going to do a uh, floating deck. We've gone back and forth, and we're kind of still not decided. We had decided on the, what is it called? Concrete, cement, quickcrete, whatever but we're not 100% sold on that. And I feel like Marion hurting his leg and then all this rain is maybe God's way of saying, stop, reevaluate everything, make sure, we wanna make sure we make the right decision. And it, like budget wise, we're, there's some things we forgot that we would to include in the price of the patio. So we're just gonna see, we're still figuring it all out. So make sure that you come back and watch because who knows what we're gonna do at this point. We definitely ripped our deck out and have to do something. <laughs> Sorry, it's so dark. We have a, you know, 90% chance, 90 to 100% chance of rain for the next two to three days. But then this weekend, it may be a little drier. So I wanted to get this video up by the weekend. So I'm not really sure this may be the end of this video. I don't know. We'll see. I'll get back on here and let you know though what the progress is. This is the shovel we got at, at uh, Lowe's. And it's got the point on the end. The one we had was like flat and that was not cutting it. That's why, that's why Marion hurt his foot. So, but I'm currently filming a weekly vlog that is going to come up after this video. So if you're interested in seeing the real time, uh, in real time and the crazy storms that we've got, <laughs> the crazy storms that we've gotten this week, make sure to come check that video. That should be coming up. I think it's coming up after this. Well, Marion's out here digging with his unhurt ankle it's gonna take twice as long though the ground's softer yes much so. apparently we were like in a drought and not any, not anymore <laughs> but that's probably why it hurt his ankle it's probably why we couldn't get these plants out before
All right, one side down, one to go. This is just a pile. We need to buy a wheelbarrow so we can like get this out of here. But I think that's all he's gonna do today. All right, we came inside and had dinner and Marion's back out there. So we're gonna go back out, try to help him. It helps when I pull as he's, you know, digging the plants up, it helps if I help him and pull. So the lighting's not the best, but the rain is holding off. So he's just antsy to get it done. Shoveling like that, yeah. They didn't realize. Oh, that's when he hurt his ankle. And that's when it went. Yeah, it goes out it far just, from the post. Yeah, I thought it was far enough away from it. Wow. I wasn't. So Marion's currently trying to dig up that huge cement block. That's what the post from the deck was put into because he said that the wood could rot. If you put the concrete over it, the wood could rot and then, I don't know. Crack and sag. But It'll like that it. looks impossible to me to do by hand and there's like six of those. So he's going to the chiropractor in the morning. So he's trying to get this done before he goes to the chiropractor, which is, <laughs> which um, yeah, do as much damage tonight. <laughs> He goes to the chiropractor on a regular basis because of his back, so. All right, y'all, it is the end of video number one. There's not much more to show. I wanna get this video edited and up for you guys in a few days. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this one. I sat down though to try and figure out what videos we're gonna have, like how many videos we're gonna have in this playlist, because I know I don't like to start a project and not get it done quickly, but this one is just gonna take a while. It's actually the next day since I was just filming and it is pouring down rain. It has rained all day and it's going to rain all day tomorrow and the next day. So yeah, the weather's not cooperating. So we're just gonna have to be patient. And I will put all these videos into a playlist. So make sure that you check the description box in all these videos, I will put the playlist. This is video number one. so. Nothing else is up right now, but I will try to get maybe one video a week up when we're doing this. That will be my, my goal, but we'll just have to see how it goes. But thank you so much for joining us today. Hopefully you're excited to see how this all comes together because there's a lot of question marks still. There's a lot of things up in the air and we're gonna take you guys along for the process. So I hope that you enjoy it. I love you all. I appreciate you so much. Give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and make sure to subscribe if you wanna watch the process from start to finish. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. got all kinds of saws <laughs> uh, I saw not uh, not sure which one's gonna work Pretty much. I would think an electric one yeah <laughs> What are you gonna do with all that? That bucket's completely trashed. That one that fell on? Oh, you fell on that? Yes. What the cushion that? might fall, you might say. Okay, Pardon? and action.
Okay, so if anybody wants a free deck, it's right there. <laughs> you gotta take it all away and you can't bring it back. <laughs> and good luck putting it back together. Oh, and, and there's no stairs. <laughs>